Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy, Etro, and I'm going to showcase my Remnant Violet. Um, I do not use Alexis Basket. This is just for flaunting my uh, my combat power there, but I use Moonlight Dream Blade. Maxed out, uh, maxed out his skills. A perfect five points um, out of 69 participants, um, but here we are in champion arena and just gonna play around here and see you know where remnant violet can really shine um what compositions he can shine in but um this is not the greatest composition but i like to use fcc and um little queen charlotte so that it mitigates the damage that he um that he's going to take um destina here is just to get rid of debuffs and um upkeep his health but his damage is is really nuts i mean looking here 21k without defense break and um yeah his s3 is just bonkers and over here you know get rid of um made Chloe so that they don't revive again and then slowly chop off on um, Basar here um, see with that evasion there he can easily gain um, his stacks and all he needs is five stacks for him to use um, his s3 and it goes by pretty quickly um, I'm, I have him on a speed set I do have a lifesteal set, but I, I wanted to try out um, his speed set. Uh, here, he, here he is again, um, using his S3 off his evasion. And that was 10k with the, um, uh, with the reduced attack debuff there. Um, but as you can see, like he already procs his S3 off his passive. So he's able to fire off his S3 two, three times, you know, per match, um, depending on his survivability. So you have to build him in a kind of a composition where his teammates will grant him that kind of survivability. So FCC is nice. Um, I'm using Little Queen Charlotte because of her passive, which reduces the crit damage um, that the teammates would receive over here i use his s1 to grant focus and because i evaded look there you go you get um his massacre proccing just because of his evasion like when i got countered there i was i only had three out of five stacks see and how many times has he um used massacre in this one fight already it's nuts so um i have him on a speed set as you saw, he's running on 220 speed, which is um, pretty high for a thief. And over here, off the bat, evaded um, Basar's S3. I'm using S3 here on... Wow! She's gone. SSB just got deleted. Just like that. That's insane. And... Little Queen Charlotte's S3, as you know, on dark units, bye, bye ML Ken. You just got deleted. That's insane. That is insane. And then whatever's left, you know, slowly just chop away on them. Um, I will try Lifesteal set on Remnant Violet, but I really think that the speed set is um. It's really good on him. Um, the only thing is, he is super, super squishy, um, depending on how you build him with the speed set, because the way I built him with that speed set is just raw raw damage. Sorry for that. That was my dog in the background. Um, raw speed, raw damage. You know, like, he's only sitting at 8k something health, which is really bad, super bad. Um, the only thing, the only thing that's keeping him um, alive really is Aureus from FCC, which I forgot to to put on. And 
And uh, what else am I missing? No, no, you can't have any. Oh, one sec. Doing a uh, audio recording. Um, so over here, I chose to use Ambitious Tywin so that when Basar uses his S3, um, right there, as you can see, Ambitious Tywin's passive negates Basar's um, unable to be buff debuff. But if he's running um, Abyssal Crown, it's still able to proc. And right here, I use S3 because his S3 is so underrated, especially the stun. Um, I mean, look at that. We've already stunned two units there. And I mean, it, it's really a pain in the ass when you lose a turn because of the stun. And here we are just evading with Remnant Violet. I'm gonna use S3 here on Basar. I don't think it's enough to kill him. Almost, almost, because he's protected by um, Aureus. I choose to do S3 here on FCC. So here we go, we got some damage going on here now. And then with FCC's S3, that takes out Basar. Almost kills FCC. Um, but I'm choosing my targets wisely here. I'm not unloading all my um, attacks, especially when a unit is at the brink of death. Um, you want to save your big hits on taking out a chunk of health on other units rather than just wasting it on someone who has little health, right? And all my guys are still alive here. And we're at um, full 5 focus. The only thing that... I, I'm not kind of sitting well with with Remnant Violet is that once he does have a full set of five focus He doesn't unleash it, you know, like he has to He has to wait until someone I mean he has to wait until he evades for him to release that um, ma Massacre, right? So if no one's attacking you and if you're not evading he could be sitting at 5 stacks and still hitting with his S1 and not gain extra focus because he's already sitting at 5 of 5. You know what I mean? Like, it'd be nice if once he hits 5 focus that he just uses Massacre. I think that might be a bit too OP because he gains his stacks really fast, especially against teams with SSB. When SSB counters and misses, that counts as a stack on your focus. Um, so it, it really depends on how you want to play the fight, but for me, I like to just get rid of SSB as soon as possible because as you know, or like her, her counter is just really super annoying. And, um, but if you want to gain easy stacks, you know, keep their SSB alive, especially if their SSB doesn't hit quite as hard. Um, but this is my general team comp over here. Um, FCC, Remnant Violet, um, Ambitious Tywin, and Little Queen Charlotte. So I know it, it's not the greatest composition to build around Remnant Violet. Um, Assassin Cartuja would be more ideal so that he can sit around 85% uh, evasion. I don't have the Violet Talisman, which can get me up to 95%. Um, I, I'm only using Moonlight Dreamblade because I happen to have sold all my um, remnant, um, my Violet Talismans um, because I didn't know that I'd uh, use Remnant Violet in the future, right? So I, I got rid of all of my Talismans in the past, which really sucks. I think I had like three, four copies that I just sold for uh, powders, which really sucks. Okay, so here I have five focus. I choose to hit ML Ken so that when he counters me, he's gonna miss. Therefore, I release my Massacre, right? Off my passive. 17k damage. And guess what? I'll have another Massacre ready by, um, by the time his rotation comes in again. Which is crazy. I mean, if you play the fight um, smart... Like, he'll gain those passives really well. Like, you don't even need to use a counter set. I think a counter set would be harder to build on him 
because those um, stats, like he's really stat hungry and it's easier to just use like a speed set on him. Um, here we are uh, in RTA, uh, champion level RTA. We're facing a challenger here and I choose to ban the SSB because yeah, just her counters are just really super annoying. Thankfully, he didn't ban my Remnant Violet. So I'm gonna use S3 here. Um, right at the get-go, my Basar is sitting at 265 speed. Um, we got a lucky stun on both Ruel and Spectre Tenebria. Um, Kron, hopefully, silence over here on Charles. There we go. We have a silence. Um, I'm gonna use S3 just for for damage here, and we we just want to get rid of everyone. ASAP, um, S3, we want to use it on someone who has more health, there you go, on Ruel, we don't want to use it on Charles, and almost, almost kills her, almost kills her, um, but yeah, um, speed set is really ideal for him, um, you, you could do counter set, um, destruction set, nope, absolutely not, um, attack set, with a crit set, maybe, but oh, what? Okay, I'll take that win. Okay, so we're back here in arenas. That was just a little showcase in RTA. Um, S3 here from Basar and Ambitious Tywin's passive just stops it, unless the Abyssal Crown once again procs. So, S3 on Selene. How much damage are we gonna do? A lot, a lot. We just deleted her. She doesn't exist anymore. It's insane. His S3 just kills all these squishies. How about Basar? He's gone too. I mean, these um, these kind of skills with the defense penetration. Um, we're talking about Sermia. We're talking about a little Queen Charlotte, and now Remnant Violet. You do not need a defense break debuff on them for you to one shot them. I mean, unless they're like a knight or, you know, unless they have a lot of damage mitigation. But the squishy units, all you need to do is use their S3 and they're gone. It's insane. Like, um, you'll find a lot of these units to be more popular in the near future because. We have we have three units that has that kind of defense penetration right now, and um, I'm sure there's more. Like Watcher Shuri, this, it's just a different story. He'll just completely delete you, um, even if you're Dark Corvus. Like it doesn't matter. Um, but these units with the defense penetration it, uh, is getting to be uh, real popular, and um, yeah, so far I'm liking Remnant Violet. Um, I'm liking his evasion. Um, like that's his gimmick. His re real gimmick is the whole evading, evading, um, and then unleashing his massacre. So over here, um, what are we gonna see here? Let's see who Lydica attacks. Um, counter. I have a counter set on my ambitious Tywin with um, Elbrus. So her S3, uh, I was able to evade it. That's crazy. Only with a 70% evasion, but it's still higher. Over here, another evasion. So his decreased hit chance was like totally negated. Um, I don't know if it was that, that was from Ambitious Tywin, but here we are, S3 on the dark unit. A ton of damage, and that was without an attack buff. Um, I know I should use S3 here on Lydica, but I'm gonna take my chance, use it on Selene. Did not crit, but should do some reasonable damage. Uh, 6k, yeah, that's because she evaded. I, I should have used it on Lydica, but I think we got this one in the bag. This one should be able to stun them. Um... Ambitious Tywin is another unit that I'm really starting to like now because his S3 is really super underrated. Um, I know there's one guy 
who has like five or six copies of him and I think he should use him he's a really good unit that I'd vouch for probably do like a future video on ambitious Tywin um, really super good unit and like I said, the, this is not the best kind of composition to showcase Remnant Violet, but uh, I'm just showing you kind of like the highlights of um, of Remnant Violet throughout um, the last day that I've just used them. Um, there's more footage actually, but I don't have enough storage on my phone, and it, it got cut off. So, so yeah, um, uh, almost killed Elaine. Almost, but um, enough to to put the nail on the coffin with. Um, oh no, no! It was her turn. It was her turn. Okay. So probably use it on crayon here because he's unable to be buffed. We could just um, kill him on the next uh, on my turn. Which is good, uh, right here, he's done. Uh, yeah, Basar is just uh, one of those stupid units. And um, yeah, he's just a whole another video to, to talk about, but let's see, do we evade here? Uh, we did not evade, we use S1 to kill Elaine. There you go, and counter attack. Okay, I, I'd actually be kind of interested on how on how um, Remnant Violet would do with a counter attack set, but I don't have a counter attack set with with um, with damage on it. I mean, I do have a counter set um, counter set on Ambitious Tywin. But that's more for the tanky kind of um, tanky effective type. I put some effectiveness in there, a lot of health, um, but not really, you know, the the damage type. And okay, so what we're facing here, S three from Basar. Do we evade it? No, so our evasion is gone. We're gonna S3 here. Just for damage. Um, get that damage going. And then... Uh-oh. So we can't dodge this one. Our Remnant Violet is, is not looking good right now. Attack down, speed down. There's no point in using S3, so let's just gain focus. Wow! That crit though. That hurts. That was with attack down too. My goodness. Okay. There's a counter. Um, yeah, we're gonna S3 on ML Ken. That's a one shot right there. Oh my... Bro, 21k without an attack buff. Are you kidding me? Okay, we um we we evaded there. We evaded again. That's another focus. So we should be able to use massacre from his passive soon enough once um we get another counter um evade going. Right there maybe. Maybe he'll use his S3. I don't know where he's at. There you go. Um okay. Let's see how much damage this does. Jeez Louise, 18, 18k on um, ML Ken. Ridiculous. And I get to use it again. What? Oh, bro, bro, if you haven't pulled for Remnant Violet, like, I urge you to go all in on him. Like, that alone, that sequence right there should be more than enough to convince you to get him because that was insane uh proccing his um s3 and then using it again like back to back that's insane
And guess what? We're getting more stacks right now just because of the um, AOE evading, right? Another stack there. Another stack there just because his, of his S1, right? So the moment he wakes up from this stun and gets hit with, um, with an AOE and he evades it, he's already at 5 of 5 focus right now. So we're just gonna wait. There you go. S3. Oh my gosh, bro. Bro, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Like he uses S3 how many times already? Three? Four, four times? And we're close to, to using it again? Okay, come on. Stop. Stop. This unit is, is bonkers. I mean, like we're here at um, Champion Arena and he's doing this. Like, look at him. Look at him. Your boy Levi. Is Captain Levi right here? Oops. Saw my phone. You saw you saw my phone there for a sec. I don't know what was there, but But um Jeez. Okay, so we're going to continue. Um this should be the last footage here. And another Basara comp, right? Let's see what we could do here. Um Okay, so we're gonna use S3. I like using it on SSB off the bat. Just get rid of her. But she survives here. Damn, she survived. That's not good. Mm. Uh oh, I can't use it on anyone. Skill nullifier. Come on, please evade. Did I evade? No, I didn't evade. It went through. How about this one? Will it go through? We dodged it. That's good. Um, S3 just for damage. We need to do it. And get rid of their, the skill nullifier. Uh, we didn't dodge that one. That's not good. Okay. We're gonna clap back right here. It's our turn. Push him back. S3. Who are we gonna get rid of? Yeah. SSB. I don't like you. Even though I have her, I don't like using her. It's yeah, not whatever. Okay, S1 here. Um, can't really see how how many uh, stacks we're at. A focus. Um. Okay, chopping away, chopping away. Then. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't think they're gonna hit. Remnant Violet, so we got this. We got this one in the bag. Yeah. S one here. Okay. There. That's the game. Game. Um. Yeah. So I guess that concludes this video. Um. So on on an ending note, really fun, really super cool unit um, to use. Uh, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Um, I'm l probably my favorite unit right now. You know, besides um, Little Queen Charlotte. Like, I, I'm liking his gimmick. I'm liking his damage. Um, I mean, throughout this whole video, you've seen me just sitting on 8k health. And the only thing keeping me alive is like my comp. Right, so Basar, abs deleted, bye, bye, like gone. Next, there you go, Th that's another focus from the um, dual strike, right? He just gained another focus because of S his S1. We gained another focus here because of evading SSB's uh, passive. It's insane, insane. So, I'm gonna use my S3 if... Um, no, let's just get rid of her. Get rid of her. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a little showcase of Remnant Violet. Um, I'd like to do more, maybe on a, on a different set. But thank you guys for watching. And thank you for your support. And peace! この荒れ果てたちでいくら血を流そうとも